automating your telegram forwarding is going to save you so much time you just paste into one group or type into one place or channel and then it will automatically distribute the messages into the correct locations with manipulation ai manipulation and also rules when to do this and when not to so let's test it right now as you can see this is a message i'm about to send i'm going to paste it in here look in my other group and watch all the messages pop up depending on the rules so as you can see we have four rules that triggered now please don't worry about these text uh, which i added here i actually requested for this test text to be here but as you can see this was um, one of the rules is to forward the text exactly as is sorry it's over here and also show who um, forwarded it so for example if you want to actually show it was forwarded from a specific group or person then this is going to actually show it as is we'll look at it in a minute in the actual relaygram app rule number two is translate to Chinese rule number four was translate to French Rule number five was forwarding without a photo. So if I would have added a photo here, it would have forwarded without a photo. And rule number three was a 10 second delay. This app forwards Telegram messages. Now let's have a look at the interface. And here are the five uh, rules that we decided on so that you can then um, do exactly what you want. So first of all, let's go to rule number one. Let me just stop forwarding for a second because I want to be able to enter this rule. Okay, when I click edit rule, it pops up with this. And here you can see forward messages as is, which disables all the formatting options. And it just forwards the message exactly as you entered it with the name of the person. So that was rule number one. Now, rule number two, translate to Chinese. Let me show you how that looks. So you choose an input group, any group that you own. You choose a destination group, any one that you want. Then you select rule active and you can choose which media types you want sent with this rule. And here we go. This is the prefix text to that message. Now, if I remove this prefix text, you won't have any of that extra rule to Chinese as you see over here so let me just remove that and then uh, I asked the AI to only send this message if it's not a compliment so the AI will read the message and decide if the message is not a compliment then and only then send the message and what does it have to modify it will translate the message to Chinese so this is AI doing this for you on the fly you can add more conditions or just type them all in one condition. And if the condition is met, it will send the, the, the uh, information. Let's look um, at rule number three, forward with a 10 second delay. So this is forwarding uh, regularly. You won't, they, they can't tell who the message was written by because we disabled the forwarding messages as is. And we added uh, this prefix text, which we can now remove. And again, only forward if it's not a compliment. And here is the 10 second rule. If you need to wait 10 seconds after the message is received or entered into that group, you just put 10 over here. Fantastic. And here we have a rule that actually didn't occur because over here, it's only if it is a compliment, you should send this specific message. And that wasn't sent. If we look at our um, telegram, the rule number six wasn't sent but if we if we do say a compliment let's click start forwarding and say a compliment in the input group you are the best person in the world and send that then only rule number six will work which is uh, the rule which is only sending if it's a compliment you are the best person in the world so all the other rules didn't actually work because of the condition that all the other rules should only work if it's a compliment so as you can see you have full control over these rules and you can decide exactly when the the uh, relaygram should relay your message forward and when it shouldn't so if i click on stop forwarding 
and then create a new rule. I just really want to show you this information, how amazing and how helpful this can be for your business when it comes to forwarding messages within Telegram. You click add a rule and then you choose the rule name like uh, summarize, for example, and you click uh, where you want the group that it's going to receive information from. So in my case, I created a group called input just to make things simple for me. And then uh, let's choose the Chinese group this time. And then uh, we're going to send a message without any media. And um, then what we're going to do is summarize the message in uh, Chinese. And then uh, we're going to wait five seconds and click OK. So now if I click uh, Start Forwarding, then I go back to Telegram and I type uh, this app is fantastic and it is the best app in the world. I'm expecting one message in this group, only rule number six. And in Chinese, I'm expecting a summary of what I just said after five seconds over here. And here is my summary in Chinese. Thank you for watching this video. If you need this tool, the link is in the description or you can go to relaygram.com. Bye for now.